Hello everybody, uh, this is a video I've put up on Canvas a weekend uh, review over the um, <clears throat> the series parallel circuit that we discussed um, in class today. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and draw the circuit. So we're going to draw this down here with our voltage source of 220 volts, which is going to a set of parallel resistors. As such, which then loops back here. Uh, oh, I lied to you. Let's try that again. Uh, which loops into another series resistor, which then loops into a set of, an, of another branch of parallel resistors. So let me actually get that a little bit better. Please forgive the voice, uh, as you heard in class today. If you're here, uh, I'm a little bit under the weather, but it's okay. So, we then connect this to our voltage source up here at the top. We also have another parallel uh, resistor paralleled with our two branches here. So the first way that we actually <clears throat> begin to break uh, this down is that utilizing our uh, Ohm's Law table, which you should have uh, with you uh, while you're working on this, hopefully. Um, is we should let me fix this real quick. It's bothering me. Is uh, the first thing we'll do is get our our totals right. So our first total is VT, which is equal to the obvious um, 220 volts. So that that gives us that one pretty well on that one. So let me go ahead and erase that. All right. And then next we have our IT, which is equal to uh, we don't know. Now, the th next thing that we have to do is to find that uh, current total. Now, to do that, utilizing Ohm's Law, we need to find uh, resistance total. And we'll go ahead and put our Ohm's Law up here. V equals I times R. So, uh, with our current total, uh, or with our resistance total, we will find our uh, current total. Now, these resistors are labeled as R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7, and then finally, oh, no, R8, and then finally, uh, R9. So here is our circuit here. Now, all of these resistors have uh, individual values. Now, I'm not going to write all these values on here. Uh, you should have access to the document that I put on the canvas today. Uh, if you didn't get it in class, you've had two opportunities uh, to get that down. But we will uh, talk about the, the values as they come up. So to get resistance total, uh, we have to combine all of the different resistance values that we find in each individual uh, component. So the first thing that I suggest for us to do is to break this circuit down uh, into a, an equivalent circuit. So what we want to do is actually do this, where we have our uh, source voltage, which loops back around, and then loops to the following. So what we want to do is make a resi uh, an equivalent resistance here. Which is in parallel with our original R9, and this is our R5 resistances. So. We will, uh, the goal here is to create an equivalent circuit, which we will call this one REQ1 and REQ2. Uh, so the idea, again, one more time, is to combine all of these parallel resistors here and all of these here into a single resistor here and here. So that's how we're going to do that. Now, the way in which we do that is we take the values of all of these parallel resistors that we found here and combine them using the resistant, the parallel resistance uh, formula, which is the, as following. 1 over 1 over uh, x plus 1 over x plus 1 over x and so on through your final x. Now, we will replace these x's with the resistance values that we have within that parallel uh, formula. 
we'll do that now. So R1 is equal to 15 plus 1 over R2, which is equal to 17, plus 1 over 1K, or we're going to write 1,000 here, plus 1 over uh, 2K, and we'll write 2,000 here. So the way in which we do that is utilizing your calculator. If you do not have a graphing calculator, you would type it in as such. 1 uh, divided by 15, which gives you uh, an equivalent value. Well, I'll put this into my calculator now. 1 divided by 15 gives us 0.0667. Now, you don't have to go four digits. I would like three digits, two digits minimum uh, that you would round to in here. So that is how we got that first value. And you would follow that same idea for uh, R2, R3, and R4. So I'm going to get rid of that now. Now, once you get those decimal values, you will then add them all together and then do one over that value. So uh, all of this here is equal to X. And then you would insert that there, which uh, in the end will give us our equivalent. And the answer to that is uh, our equivalent one is equal to the following. And let's go ahead and put R5 in here. Uh, R5 is going to be equal to 330 ohms. And then we'll go ahead and do R9, which is equal to 440 ohms. So. Now we need to find our REQ2 utilizing the exact same formula we did before. So it's going to be 1 over 1 over R6 plus 1 over R7 plus 1 over R8. Now there are only three resistors in that parallel circuit, so we only put three resistors in this uh, resistor parallel formula, parallel resistor formula. So uh, once we do that, you will, should come up with the following answer of REQ2 is equal to 8.36 volts. Oh, 8.36 ohms, excuse me. Let me double check that on my paper here. 8.36, that is that is correct. So now we've got our uh, resistance values of REQ1 is 7.8 ohms, R5 is equal to 330 ohms, and then REQ2 is equal to 8.36 ohms. So Martin's getting some, some pins ready there. So now that we have uh, those formulas in, we will need to combine REQ1, R5, and REQ2. Now this is equal to what we're going to call REQ3. Now this will be our final resistance value for this part of this branch. So adding all this together, because we are in series, so uh, resistors in series are added, added together. Now remember your, your series and parallel rules, and you should be able to come to that conclusion as well. So REQ3 is equal to the following, 346.16 uh, ohms. Now, if we were to draw out, again, another equivalent circuit, because that's what we just done. We've taken this, and we're going to turn this into a, another circuit, a, a, an equivalent circuit. So what we're going to do is, again, draw our voltage source of 220 volts. And that this one is REQ3, which is equal to 346.16 ohms, 346.16 ohms. And then we have R9, all by its lonesome over here, which is equal to uh, 440 ohms. So uh, now that we have that completed, uh, we will actually one over these two.